Hello, my name is Dr. Richmond Lowe and I'm the fish vet. So today we're presented with a case. If we have a look uh, closely here, we've got um, the owners moved in about 10 years ago and has had no problems in the first six years of living here. Um, ever since he got the, uh, the pond cleaned about two and a half years ago um, or so, uh, we've had fish dying, just single ones lying on the side and then it's uh, sort of dying relatively regularly but not, but not mass mortality. Uh, there's one here lying on its side, you can zoom in. The one looks like it's got covered in um, excess mucus a little bit so we'll catch them out of a closer look and we'll also check all the other fish health out. Uh, they've had one new introduction, uh, it's a yellow fish about a year ago uh, but no other signs of ill health. So we'll first start with water quality testing and then we'll test the fish itself microscopically. Uh, so next thing we're just going to catch the fish out. Uh, initially we'll, we'll catch the one that's lying on the side. seem to be eroded in a way on the top. It looks a bit thin on the body so it's some sort of a chronic disease we're dealing with. The gills are looking very pale. So this is a gill biopsy yeah. and you can see that little worm that's moving around there in the middle. Oh, right yes, there, yeah. Yes, so that's yes. a gill fluke. Yes. They're very small and if you have a look, uh, you can see this brownie bit here on yeah. the right. That, that shouldn't be there. That layer of mucus, it should be more flat. And there's a bit of excess mucus there. So, okay, to wrap this up, basically what we found is that we had um, Fish dying, um, individually, not massive mortalities, just one at a time. Uh, and what we found also microscopically, we had a lot of gill hyperplasia, a lot of mucus on them, but we couldn't see the parasite. And the problem with that was um, the owner had already treated with a, another drug. So it makes diagnosis very difficult. So in terms of treatment, um, because the owner has already used some sort of a drug, uh, we say that tomorrow we're going to start our treatment. We're going to do some partial water change first, uh, and then we're going to target the fluke with Praziquantel. Then we're going to mix it up a little bit in two weeks' time, uh, because the water conditions are quite cold. Uh, we're going to do a formalin treatment, uh, because you can't give them too much exposure of formalin repeatedly. Um, and I'm suspecting that that drug that the owner had used had formalin. That's why we will start with Prezi, then formalin, and then two weeks after that we'll do another Prezi Condel treatment, which is a targeted approach uh, towards a gill fluid. So our aim is always to cure the problem and fix it, uh, make sure the water is circulating and eradicate the disease. So Great, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get updates of our future videos and have a fantastic week. Thank you.